Hello dear traders, let us review the major economic developments of past week. Last week Dow Jones index rose 2.3%, S&P 500 added 1.7% while Nasdaq advanced 0.5%. The US dollar index was almost flat. No significant economic data came out in US on Monday. Goldman Sachs Bank cut the rating of Caterpillar stocks. As a result, they fell 3.1% weighing down on similar companies. In Europe, weak IFO data came out. Overall stocks ended slightly lower across the globe. On Tuesday, global markets rebounded and edged up on rising US Consumer Confidence Index in January and strong quarterly earnings from Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble and 3M. Energy stocks of Exxon and Chevron advanced together with global oil prices. On Wednesday, most of global stock indices edged lower again and US dollar slightly weakened after the Fed meeting. The regulator mentioned the heightened global economic risk compared to December 2015 when interest rates were raised for the first time in the last 10 years. After the announcement, the implied likelihood of the federal rate hike in March based on federal funds futures pricing by market participants fell from 31% to 29%. Additional negative developments were weak quarterly statements from Apple and Boeing. On Thursday, market shrugged of weaker December durable goods orders in US. Shares of Facebook social network rose 16.5% on strong quarterly earnings and pushed the S&P tech sector up 1.6%. S&P energy sector advanced 2.6% together with oil prices. European stocks jumped on stronger inflation data in Germany that rose to 0.5% in January. Market participants believe the data reduced the deflation risks. Global stock market indices continued aging up on Friday on the Bank of Japan decision to adopt negative rates. Investors believe the European Central Bank may adopt similar steps and this measure will revive the global economy. The daily S&P 500 growth of 2.5% was the record highest since September 2015. The US GDP for the fourth quarter of 2015 is another factor that supported the US stocks. The pace of economic growth slowed down to 0.7% year over year in quarter 4. Market participants believe this may postpone the further 1 percentage point interest rate hike by the Fed this year. Moreover, Microsoft shares rallied 5.8% on news the company's quarterly earnings exceeded expectations. This week, markets will be focused on official US labor market data for January that will come out on Friday. A noticeable fall in non-farm payrolls is expected which may negatively affect the markets. On Wednesday, the ADP labor market overview for January will be released, ahead of official data. It is expected to be week 2. This was all for this week. Thank you, happy trading and see you next week.